awesome. Okay, guys. Uh, wow. Last minute announcement and uh, shitload of people turn up. <laughs> Love you. This only means one thing. Every one of us loves driving. Beautiful misty morning, seeing all the car guys, lovely friends. Ah, this is just amazing. More people should buy the one series, you know. This car is legend. It's a future classic. Today we have an all-stop golf GTI. Uh, what? <laughs> Such a GTI. <laughs> uh, NA Miata. Lovely. And that's the FD2R. Normal car owner, enthusiast, then he joined us for COM and then we, we just literally lit up his the fire in him. Then uh, he got himself his dream car. Yep. So for me, if you have a dream car, whip out your calculator, do the maths, and see if you can see if it is within reach and then try your best. That applies to every single thing in life. And cars is the first step. Nice. Oh, I love seeing an FD2 that bobs around when it has poor road surfaces. And that is a nice scene because that means it's a real Civic Type R. Colorado yeah. up front. That's the M3. M3 makes beautiful noises. Try to just announce a day prior, just one night earlier, and uh, to keep the group small. So the only way that you can join our drives is to check out on uh, check out our Facebook updates or our Instagram updates. And uh, even even if you have liked our Facebook page, do note that you will not see the updates because Mark Zuckerberg will want us to pay money to reach you guys so uh, that's how evil Facebook is anyway um, yeah. that's how we do it and we'll just announce a location a time and don't worry about where we will be heading how far it will be because if it is out of the norm uh, we will we will announce, we will let you guys know if it's... Um, basically, we will give you a rough estimate time that you will reach home. So most of the time is 10 something you will reach home. So uh, yeah, there's no need to know about the destination. So thank you so much.
much uh, for everyone who turned up and for those of you who would love to join us um, subscribe to us on YouTube like us on Facebook uh, follow us on Instagram and wait for our updates join us for drives we don't do it every weekend actually this round we do it because one of our readers um, who was from Penang but he worked in Singapore and um, he finally traded in his Honda City and got his lifelong dream car the, the, uh, the FD2R so he collected his car yesterday and uh, we all decided to do a drive to welcome him and then tonight he's gonna head back to Singapore right so he had a little bit of a uh, a chance to experience what was it like being a car enthusiast this morning because right after the drive he couldn't start his car then only he realized that his battery was dead um, so when you buy a used car change all the fluids change all the filters change all the oil change your battery change your brake pads make sure your fluids are all in change your tires if it needs to be changed and then your car should be awesome I don't mean that all used cars are, are poor in condition it's just that when you are the one who did it at the back of your at the back of your head you know what has been done you know so that is a form of peace of mind there all right um, and for those of you who are interested in Evo Enduro yes it's happening it's gonna be on the 8th of August all right and only enthusiast cars okay because there's a reason there is a reason because it is a celebration of people who are willing to do some sacrifices I mean you can buy an old Satria GTI you know you're qualified you can buy an old um, Toyota Starlet Turbo you're qualified it doesn't have to be an expensive car but it has to be a car guy's car you know so that's what makes it different okay so um, yeah for those of you who are interested find you can find a used car you can find a, a very affordable Alpha 146 or 147 you qualify Okay. Alfa Romeo's uh, automatically qualifies for Enduro because Enduro is for the spirit of Millimiglia all right and um, Millimiglia is from Italy right so yeah and uh, you look at the guy behind me you're gonna see see him on camera now the uh, Huracan look at that Performante. He made sacrifices as well. He bought a car at close to 2 million ringgit so that we all will feel good when he overtakes us, right? See, he contributed to my view. He makes my morning happy that I'm overtaken by a Lamborghini and for him to bring out his 2 million ringgit uh, prize possession or toy to entertain me is something generous right he's being very generous <laughs> yeah. he's a kind person he did not just put his two million ringgit in his bank you know he take it out he spend it and he made us happy yeah <laughs> That's a different perspective on putting things right. Think about it. A lot of parents will tell us, or uh, that, oh, you should save your money. Or when we see someone who 
like like Mike Tyson or uh, Michael Jackson, right? They spend all their money. Actually, if you think about it, money doesn't disappear. Money merely flows from one person's pocket into another person's pocket. So in a way, you see this guy, I hope he's alright, but he contributed to my morning as well. He flipped his lorry. I hope he's alright. Um, yeah, so rich people who keep all their money in their banks, even though we might regard that as being frugal, you know, people like Warren Buffet, people like Li Ka Sheng, we will say that, oh, they are so humble, they keep all their money. But you think about it, they are preventing their money from flowing into another person's pocket, right? If they buy a lot of cars, cars hire, car manufacturers hire people to build cars, those people have family members to take care of, right? There are car salesmen, there are car service personnel, or if they spend their money to buy a lot of gold chains, it goes to those company that hires a lot of people. When rich people spend all their money, they are actually doing a charity because they flow their money out to society, to people. Instead of keeping all that in their banks and holding it, not willing to let it flow into the market to enrich everybody. So we should applaud people who spend money, who spend all their money, and then resulted in themselves being poor because they are doing a good deed to everybody else. They have the capacity to earn a lot of money and then they distribute it up from their champagnes, from their hotel stays, from buying helicopters, boats, you name it, clothes and all that. They are helping the economy. They are helping everybody else except themselves. They are very, very kind. <laughs> Whereas, those who kept all their money in their banks, assholes, assholes. <laughs> Alright, so, yep, that's how our morning drives are. We come up, we enjoy, we don't cause trouble, and then we go back smoothly, and go breakfast with our family members. That's how a nice weekend should be, huh? You see, another guy. So nice. He spent a million ringgit buying the uh, GT3 so that I get to enjoy the view. And there's another Burakan behind me. Okay, guys.